You may have heard about this in the last few days. It seems the producer of Senran Kagura, Kenichiro Takaki, is leaving Marvelous. He will, however, still continue work on a few Marvelous projects, including Senran Kagura 7, as well as another non Senran Kagura related game. Takaki will join a different company called Psy Games, where he will start working on a traditional style RPG. So, why is Kenichiro Takaki leaving Marvelous? And what does that all mean for Senran Kagura, Takaki himself, and fan service games in general? According to an interview with uh, Famitsu that has been translated into English by Sile Konera, the main reason for his departure are the changing censorship policies in the video game industry, aka Sony. Takaki has already expressed his displeasure on Sony's new policy on sexual content back in February and how it is negatively affecting Seven's production, stating that his original idea of what the game would be like is now impossible under these new rules. In the Famitsu interview, he said that he sees these recent rule changes as a way to shut things down. Takaki said that while he will finish up Senran Kagura 7, he'll probably leave like uh, any adjustments to Marvelous, which I'm pretty sure refers to changes that need to be made in order to comply with Sony's policies. Other than Senran Kagura, there's going to be one more Marvelous game that he'll work on. It doesn't have a name, just a screenshot, and apparently there'll also be an anime. At the end, Takaki said this, The place I work and the nature of my work may change, but I won't and will not change what I want to show. I'm a video game fan down to the core and I say dirty jokes and spout a lot of nonsense, but when it comes to making games, I always give it my best. I'm glad he's someone that stays true to his principles and also says what he thinks. Instead of being always like tiptoeing, you know, and going for some sort of corporate response to questions and things like that. I'm sure his quest for fan service games won't end, and I'm excited to see what else he comes up with uh, with his new company. Well, it's not his company, but you know what I mean. But what about Senran Kagura? Once Takaki is done with Senran Kagura 7, who is going to be in charge of the series? The thing is, Kenichiro Takaki is the creator and the driving force of that series, and a lot of the reason why people like me enjoy the games. The fan service itself is just one aspect of the games. There are many games that have a ton of fan service, but it's done differently in Senran Kagura. Other than being pretty blatant, not only is it often integrated into gameplay functions, but it's also done for a comedic effect that in a way that I have not seen before. In turn, that's also brought some great variety into the franchise. I like that Takaki wanted to put the characters into different situations, which have resulted in Peach Beach Splash, Bon Appetit, the uh, cooking rhythm game spin-off, and the so far Japan-only pinball game Peach Ball. For me, one of the best parts about these games, whether they're mainline games or spin-offs, is that when I play them, I get more serious as I get into it. I mean, as you would, right? But occasionally, the fan service moments just bring me out of the series mood, but in a good way. It's like I have this image in my head of what it must look like for someone else to see me look at the screen so seriously while stuff like this is happening on the screen. It just makes me smile for some reason. And I wonder if the series will continue to provide these sort of moments in later games. It's pretty rare to find someone who's so blatant and open about wanting to include all sorts of fan service in their games, so perhaps it's something the franchise might lose. Or at the very least, perhaps there won't be more innovation in that front making the franchise seem kind of stagnant. Right now it's hard to say since it's all just speculation. There are many franchises that stand the test of time even when important members of the production team leave, so hopefully this will be the case with Senran Kagura as well. As strange as it sounds, I'm not really one of those people who is worried about the censorship phase the video game industry is going through. Every media and genre goes through this at one point or another. Fan service games are still relatively new in the grand scheme of things, so it's seeing some resistance. Remember that video I made about Japanese developers moving away from the PlayStation and towards the Switch and PC? I talked about that a little on that video, and my views haven't really changed since then. The demand for such games exists and has never been bigger. One way or another, companies will try and satisfy that particular demographic, whichever system or systems they may be on. Perhaps that's one reason why Takaki is joining Psy Games. Perhaps they'll give him uh, more free reign than Marvelous did. It is worth mentioning that Psy Games doesn't have the biggest repertoire of console games ever. They've done way more mobile and browser games. So uh, 
I guess quality is something that I'm a little bit worried about, but perhaps it's a good way to kind of assemble a team of, you know, competent people. We'll just have to see, I guess. Like I said, I'm excited to see what he comes up with. I'm sure it'll be fun. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say about the matter. I'm interested to see what you guys think about this whole thing, so let me know in the comments. I've been a fan of Senran Kagura since the very first release on the 3DS, so I'm honestly a little concerned with what's going to happen with the series, and I'm sure some of you might be as well. Remember to like the video if you did. Also check out patreon.com slash YSN if you're interested in supporting the channel and seeing videos before they come out on YouTube, or even having your name up on the end cards. Also, second channel. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.